Harvesting crops can be quite gruelling, not just to humans, but to the crops as well. The costs of harvested fruits can be quite high because of the costs of acquiring labour and extra caution required during the process. For the humans in the process, it can take a while to cover large acres of farmlands and cause great strains to their bodies. And that is why, today, we are grateful for the invention of harvesters. These large mechanical buddies have proven to be quite profitable for their owners. They're combine harvesters, forage harvesters, and several others. Today, we'll be talking about 10 of the most amazing and satisfying harvesting machines ever. Number 10. The John Deere S785i Combine The first harvester to be mentioned in today's video is the John Deere S785i Combine. It's Tier 4F Stage 5 PSS John Deere engine produces a displacement of 13.5 litres, an engine power of 579 horsepower at a top speed of 2100 rpm and a maximum power of 550 horsepower at 2100 rpm. The six-cylinder twin turbocharger with fully automatic exhaust gas recirculation technology engine also produces a cylinder bore of 118.4 mm and a stroke of 136 mm. The harvester has a transport length of 9.1 meters, a transport width of 3.99 meters, and a transport height of 4 meters. Its rear wheels are 620 by 70 R26 tires, and its front wheels are 900 by 60 R38s. Its rotor has a diameter of 762 mm and a length of 3,124 mm. Its grain tank has a size of 14,100 litres and unloads that capacity at a rate of 135 litres per second. Its separating unit has an area of 1.54 square metres and its cleaning unit has a total area of 5.2 square metres. The John Deere S785i Combine has a customizable control center, a highly productive header, a Hillmaster system, an extremely precise active yield system, a Harvest Promise support package, a modern DynaFlow Plus cleaning shoe, an integrated combine adjustment to ICA2, an active tailing system, and a residue management system. John Deere is an American brand responsible for the creation, development, and distribution of agricultural machines, heavy equipment, and some of their accessories. It was established in 1837 by John Deere. Dependent on over 180 years of experience, John Deere's employees are determined to understand their customers and their businesses so as to provide user-friendly technology that makes sure the businesses are quite profitable. Since its inception, the American brand has produced a diverse selection of tractors, skidders, forwarders, loaders, graders, combine harvesters, forage harvesters, field sprayers, excavators, backhoes, fella bunches, diesel engines, and financial services. Some of John Deere's subsidiaries include John Deere Electronic Solutions, John Deere Financial, John Deere Capital Corporation, John Deere Agri-Services, and John Deere Ag Management Solutions. Number 9. The Lexion 8900 This harvesting creature is fitted with a six-cylinder, Stage 5 man D4276 engine that produces a peak power of 790 horsepower. Its grain tank can hold a whopping amount of 15,000 litres of grain. Its huge threshing and separating drum have a width of 1700 millimetres and a depth of 755 millimetres to ensure an even and quick flow of crops. The harvester has a total of six rotor concaves. Here are some other features of the Lexion 8900. APS Synflow Hybrid This feature enhances the harvester's flow of crops and increases the speed of up to 20 meters per second. The exceptional combination of the tangential APS Synflow threshing unit and the Axial Roto Plus secondary generates the highest separation performance. Chemos Automatic The Chemos Automatic works round the clock to ensure the threshing system, cleaning unit, and crop flow are thoroughly optimized. Chemos Auto Chopping With this integrated system, the harvester consumes lower quantities of fuel and produces optimized qualities of the chopped produce. Chemos Auto Threshing 
Situated in the Seabiz system, this feature controls the threshing concave bar and flap, the threshing concave distance, and the threshing drum speed. Its 15,000 litre grain tank has been modified to produce higher unloading rates and works smoothly with cutter bars with widths as high as 13.8 metres. Other notable features include Auto Slope, the Seabiz touchscreen, a dynamic cooling system, a dynamic power feature, a laser pilot, and a GPS. The Lexion 8900 has a cutting platform width of 13.8 meters. The 22.4 ton harvesting machine is fitted with standard TA 635 mm LA and 500 by 85 R34 wheels. Its rotors have the dimensions of 2 by 4200 by 445 mm to handle the substantial amount of crops approaching the main threshing unit. The brilliant mind behind the Class Company belonged to August Class. The company was initially established in 1913 for the development of strong straw binders by August, Franz, and Theo. In 1936, the trio produced the first series of combine harvesters that could yield results under European harvest conditions. Class has its production manufactured in different countries around the world. Its balers are manufactured in Metz, France. Forage harvesters are produced in Bad Salgau, Germany. Tractors from Le Mans in France. Cutter bars are built in Hungary. Lexion combines harvesters in Nebraska, USA, and several others. Subsidiaries of the Class Group include Class Parts Logistics Center in Ham, Germany, Class Industry Technique from Paderborn, Germany, and Electronics Development Center in Dissen, Germany. Number 8. Gleaner S97. The Gleaner S97 comes with a Vision Cab that replaces the Comfortec Cab with a 15% increase in space. The cab has a combined area of 66 square foot of glass and operators have a wide range of view through its front glass with an area of 32.9 square foot. It is also equipped with a Titan terminal, a powerful feature that aids its operator in making choices to improve the machine's performance. The Vision Cab offers its operators unmatched levels of comfort and unparalleled access. The machine's feeder house has been thoroughly redefined. Its natural flow process has been modified to accommodate better feeding capacity and optimized output. For the S9 series, Gleaner offers either the Agco Fieldstar Live or AgLeader as its yield monitoring system. With either of these two, the Gleaner S97 can produce live yield mapping, thus improving its quality of production and, consequently, amount of profit generated. This harvesting machine is driven by an Agco Power Twin Turbo 7-cylinder engine with a rated power of 375 horsepower, a maximum output of 451 horsepower, and a displacement of 9.8 liters. The harvester, coupled with its tires, weighs a total of 14,932 kilos. For its transmission system, it is fitted with a four-speed, electronically shifted system with proportional hydrostatics. Its grain tank can hold a capacity of 13,743 litres and unload that amount at a rate of 141 litres per second. Gleaner is a brand under the Agco Corporation. Before it was acquired by Agco, Gleaner is a brand under the Agco Corporation. Before it was acquired by Agco, Gleaner was a famous brand for the manufacturing of extraordinary combine harvesters. In 1923, the Baldwin brothers developed a high-performance, self-propelled combine harvester and decided to call it Gleaner. The word gleaning connotes the process of collating remains of crops from farm grounds after the crops have been harvested or from fields where harvesting is not economically recommended. The Gleaner introduced a series of firsts into the industry, an auger that served as a replacement for canvas drapers, a down front cylinder that brought the threshing process closer to the crops, and a rasp bar threshing cylinder in place of a spike tooth configuration. Today, the Combine Harvester brand has its business in Australia, North America, and South America. Since 2011, a total of five models have been released by Gleaner. The S67, the S77, the S96, the S97, and the S98. Number 7. Peanut Harvester There are a couple of advantages that are accrued by using a peanut harvester. Since the harvester works by digging into the soil at a specific angle, 
peanuts can be fully harvested with sharp blades. There is no loose soil or other impurities after the harvesting process because the vibrating screen ensures the produce is clean. The peanut seedlings are transported quickly to the rear outlet after harvesting via a roller chain, thus stopping them from sinking into the farm fields. The process of harvesting peanuts runs smoothly with the use of a peanut harvester. So how does a peanut harvester work? An operator ensures the peanut harvester is appropriately connected with a tractor. The shovel of the peanut harvester, consisting of a sharp blade, is dug into the soil at a certain angle. The seedlings are gotten from the fields and placed over both sides of the harvester. The peanut seedlings are delivered to the back of the harvester and a roller ensures the peanut plants don't sink into the soil. Number 6. Rossal Mash Across 595 Plus This 13,672 kg harvester possesses a maximum speed of 32 km per hour and a maximum reverse speed of 15 km per hour. The engine has a rated power of 325 horsepower and a fuel tank with a capacity of 540 litres. Its grain tank has a capacity of 9,000 litres with a discharge rate of 90 litres per second and a dump height of either 4.3 metres or 4.7 metres. Its rotor is said to be the largest in the game with a whopping diameter of 800 millimetres with a length of 1,480 millimetres. With this magnitude, the rotor can perform well under extreme working conditions. It also has a significant increase in the coverage angle of the under drum area, supplying a substantial separation area of 1.38 square meters and a smooth and extensive geometry for threshing. For its feeding system, it has conveyor and acceleration beta feeder, along with a relief copying electrical and hydraulic system and a single multi-coupler hydraulic connector. There are five straw walker racks with a length of 4100 millimeters and a separation area of 6.3 square meters. The Rostal Mash Across 595 Plus has a total of three screens that cover an area of 5.2 square meters. It also has a standalone final threshing device and an in-cab electrical manipulation of sieves. The shredding drum alternates between 1800 and 3400 rpm and has 76 pieces of knives. The Acros 595 Plus has a package comfort cab 2 with Advisor 3 system with an automatic driving system, automatic centralized lubrication system and a yield and moisture mapping system. The wheelbase is 4000 mm and the wheel track is 3100 mm. The front of the machine is moved by 18.4 R24 wheels, while its rear is moved by 30.5 LR32 wheels. Its engine is a Cummins six-cylinder 6LTAA model with a displacement of 8.9 litres, a fuel tank with a capacity of 540 litres and a rated power of 325 horsepower. The 14,330 kilogram harvester has a transport length of 8,850 millimetres a transport width of 3,880 mm and a transport height of 3,940 mm. Number 5. Oxbow 2475 Along with a 9-litre Tier 3 John Deere engine that has a rated power of either 275 horsepower or 281 horsepower, the Oxbow 2475 has a gross length of 11.13 meters, a gross width of 3.43 meters and a height of 3.99 meters. Its engine also has a fuel tank with a capacity of 908.5 liters, a coolant capacity of 45.4 liters, and a hydraulic reservoir with a capacity of 227.1 liters. Its wheelbase is around 4.17 meters, and it produces a turning circle with an internal radius of 3.89 meters. The Oxbow 2475 was designed with intent to produce increased performance, durability, comfort, and maneuverability. Its auxiliary cooling unit is there to ensure the machine does not break down as a result of heat generated. Its dump box has been modified to eliminate the need and maintenance of bell cranks, cables, and links. Its cleaning system consists of separate, dual-operated cleaning fans that are super effective for a wide range of grains. The harvester has an integrated plus one system 
to give the operator control of the machine, while simultaneously making sure the machine is running smoothly. The Oxbow 2475 is well matched with various picking heads, suitable for harvesting respective crops. It can be fitted with VPC2 heads, with picking widths of 3.81 meters to 4.57 meters for beans, Swear spinach and herbs header with picking widths of 2.5 meters to 4 meters for spinach and herbs, 4 row CP400 or 4 to 12 row 3000 header for sweet corn, and Young Etgar header for pepper. Oxbow International is dedicated to developing, manufacturing, and distributing technological solutions for agricultural business owners all over the world. Their equipment tackles issues with berries, coffee, corn, borage, grape, vineyard, and nutrient application. Oxbow has three manufacturing plants and several venues to ensure a direct service, sales, as well as parallel dealer networks positioned close to major markets. The manufacturer is also the North American distributor of every product developed in Europe by sister companies under the Ploja Oxbow Group. Its foremost purpose is to ensure the producers of perishable and high-value crops have access to local products and top-notch customer support. Number 4. Case IH9250 Axial Flow Combine Harvester Equipped with an engine that produces a related power of 550 horsepower at 2100 rpm and a grain tank with a capacity of 14,448 liters, the Case IH Axial Flow Combine is a force to be reckoned with. Its turbocharged Cursor 16 Case IH engine produces a maximum power of 625 horsepower, has a bore of 13 centimeters, a stroke of 14 centimeters, and generates a torque of 1,015 pounds per foot. The harvester's rotor has a diameter of 762 millimeters, and it moves on VR710 by 70 R42 and HR500 by 85 R24 wheels. The 9250 combine has a transport length of 8.05 meters, a transport width of 3.49 meters, and a transport height of 3.98 meters. The 21 ton harvester has a cutting platform width of 12.5 meters, a wheelbase of 3 meters, a front tread range of 330 centimeters, and a rear tread range of 330 centimeters. Its hydraulic system is a closed center load sensing pressure compensating system with a total of four remote control valves. There is also a pump flow with a capacity of 102 liters per minute, and the valves have a relief pressure of 2500 psi. The cooling unit has a capacity of 63 liters, the fuel tank has a capacity of 68 liters, and the engine can hold a total of 42 liters of oil. The harvesting machine's transmission system is a full power shift type with a total of 12 forward gears and 3 reverse gears. Case IH is an American company that specializes in the manufacture and development of agricultural machinery. It was brought to life in 1985. Today it is owned by the American-Italian corporation CNH Industrial. Case IH has produced different kinds of tractors, combine harvesters, forage equipment, hay tools, equipment for seeding and tillage, and sprayers. The company is devoted to offering agricultural equipment, parts and service support, and related financial services for farm owners and other interested people in the industry via its network of dealers and distributors. Its popular models of agricultural equipment include axial flow combines, Magnum tractors, Steiger and Farmal. Case IH has been awarded several times with the AE50 awards by the American Society of Agriculture and Biological Engineers. Number 3. New Holland CR1090 Combine this New Holland agriculture product is fitted with a Cursor six-cylinder FPT engine with a displacement of 15.9 liters, a rated power of 653 horsepower, and a peak output of 700 horsepower. Its fuel tank has a capacity of 1300 liters. The machine moves with a maximum speed of 30 kilometers per hour and has a maximum travel speed of 40 kilometers per hour. The CR1090 combine has a hydraulic transmission with a total of four forward and reverse gears. Its front wheels are 900 by 60 R32 tires and its rear wheels are 540 by 65 R30 tires. Its grain tank can hold a total of 14,500 litres of grain 
and its cutting unit has a working width of 915 centimeters. The harvester has a combine length of 904 centimeters, a combined width of 961 centimeters, and a combine height of 339 centimeters. New Holland is an American manufacturer of agricultural machinery. Its range of products include baiters, combine harvesters, forage harvesters, grape harvesters, hay tools, hobby tractors, seeding tools, sprayers, tractors, utility vehicles, and implements. New Holland was brought to life in 1985 before it was later acquired by several brands such as Sperry Corporation, Ford Motor Company, and Fiat Agri. Currently, it is owned by CNH Industrial. The company has its products being manufactured all around the world. There are presently 18 production plants globally and six joint ventures in North America, South America, Asia, and the Middle East. The Agricultural owns trademarks for specific innovation on its products, such as ABS Super Steer System, Intel Fill System, OptiFan System, and more. Some time ago, New Holland demonstrated the NH2. The NH2 is a hydrogen-driven tractor that can be refilled with energy gotten from renewable sources. Number 2. Class Jaguar 990 This harvesting giant has a MAN D2862 Tier 5 engine with a rated power of 925 horsepower and a displacement of 24.2 liters. The Jaguar 990 has a transport length of 8.59 meters a transport width of 3.2 meters and a transport height of 3.945 meters. The harvester moves on 710 by 75 R34 front wheels and 540 by 65 R30 rear wheels. The 14.15 ton machine moves at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour. It has a minimum pickup width of 3 meters and a maximum pickup width of 3.8 meters. There are four different options out of which an operator can select a preference for customizing and controlling the class Jaguar 990. CBIS rotary push switch and push buttons. Direct adjustment with switches in the armrest. An easy tap on the touchscreen and CBIS terminal provides direct access to all machine functions. Seven of the machine's functions can be selected as favorites and directly accessed via rocker switches positioned on the C-Motion control lever. With the integration of the new armrest and C-Motion control lever into the harvester system, an operator can control the machine right from the joystick using selected favorite options. Via the joystick, an operator can access the following functions. Cruise control, horn, partial working with, roller crop press, spout up and down, stop rock sensitivity, stubble height. The KeyMOS automatic allows the harvester to run at a constant targeted engine speed and crop flow while harvesting the engine horsepower to the required magnitude. This allows an increase in the performance of the harvester as well as a decrease in the rate of fuel consumed. The 42-blade VMAX chopping cylinder has a cutting rate of 25,200 cuts per minute. Designed to produce exceptionally high throughput, its blade delivers top-notch chopped product at lengths between 3.5mm to 12.5mm. The harvester's hydraulic rams with pressure reservoirs instantly control the pre-compression pressure applied, so as to host various crops and variances in the thickness of the crop flow. The modified feeder housing consists of a strengthened feed roller developed for peak throughput. There are also larger wear discs on the sides of the pre-compression rollers to reduce the dust accumulated and noise generated. The sealing present in the chopping cylinder sharpening system has been modified to aid in reducing the dirt ingress and noise. The working life of the chopping cylinder bearings has been increased and the flat face coupling present allows easy maintenance of the feeder housing and knife drum housing. Number 1. The Holmer Terra Fels 3 the Holmer Terra Fels 3 is powered by a Mercedes-Benz OM936LA Tier 4 six-cylinder twin turbo engine with AdBlue and SCR Cat. The engine has a displacement of 7.7 .7 liters, a rated power of 260 kilowatts at 1700 RPM, and a peak torque of 1400 newton meters. It also has a fuel tank with a size of roughly 1400 liters and an AdBlue tank with a capacity of roughly 95 litres. 
The Terra Fels 3 has a length of 14.8 meters, a width of 3.08 meters, a height of 4 meters, and a ground clearance of 4.8 meters. Its hydraulic system features a hydraulic tank with a capacity of 180 liters. It also features load sensing hydraulics with a peak delivery rate of 162 liters per minute. There are four closed hydraulic circuits and four axial piston pumps to handle the pickup and post cleaning of the crops. The Holmer Terra Felis 3 has a spring loaded parking brake and hydraulic drum brake on both axles. The soundproof panorama cab, with space with an area of 3.5 square meters, offers a 360 degree visibility to an operator. The cab can be hydraulically lifted to 5.1 meters and dropped to 1.24 meters. The panorama cab features panorama glazing, adjustable side windows, four windscreen wipers, stereo CD radio with Bluetooth hands-free system, sun blinds, grammar swivel seat with seat heating and pneumatic lock, and various compartments. Its Holmer Smart Drive features a 12.1-inch Holmer Easy Touch screen terminal and two ergonomic joysticks with embedded miniature joysticks for frequently used functions. The setting of all units can be accessed and customized using soft keys, a diagnostics menu, and a cleaning intensity function through assigned soft keys. Its 900mm wide in-feed conveyor has a partition of 50mm. It has a channel with PU plates for wear protection and a cleaning function that doubles the belt speed in extremely sticky grounds. The Homer Felis 3 features a series of post cleaners such as eight post cleaning rollers with targeted double coating, a set of 900mm wide 50mm partition filler belts, an 1100mm wide Homer cleaner, an 1100mm wide Homer cross roller flex, an 1100mm wide Homer Vario Cleaner and Beach Break. Did you enjoy today's video? Which harvester caught your attention? Why don't you let us know in the comments box below? That's all for a complete look at 10 of the most amazing and satisfying harvesting machines known to mankind. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like and don't forget to drop a comment to let us know what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to the channel to be part of the family. Toggle on the notification icon so you can get updated on our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. See you in the next video.